So, this is the third and one. It's Adams on the keeper, has a first down. He slides across mid. Ability to be able to extend plays. This time it's a cold run. He runs his own read, comes around the corner. Just have receivers three to one side from the Montana 49. Adams stepping up in the pocket, delivers it downfield for Mitchell. He can't get there. The trying to deliver here on third down and 10 from the 35. Again, an empty backfield. Adams scrambles in trouble and they've got him back at the 37 yard line how again wilson the running back rolling on the play fake adams has a man it's caught for the touchdown empty backfield a five receiver look no running backs from the 39 adams backside pressure fires it downfield and harris is there and he almost picks it. fcs in passing yardage this season facing a second and ten now Forte back in at running back. He gets the handoff, hit in the hole, and then hit on the backside and drop near the line of scrimmage. Pay out top of the screen as a wide receiver. Again, the five receiver look. Adams scrambling left. Wagaman giving chase. Now he'll reverse field, and after him is Holmes. He escapes him. Now Adams still trying to keep the play alive, but Wagaman is there, and he got him. At the now Adams is not, this is a, this is almost a comfort sack for Montana because no one is open. So they're doing a scramble drill now where guys are just running into open space. But Adams is unable to find him before Zach Wagelman comes in and just makes the play. Hey, from Whitefish, Montana, second and ten. Handoff Forte trying to get to the outside and not much real estate gets four. Only 2.7 yards per play today. They average close to seven on the season. Backside pressure, and Adams is hit, and he's sacked back at the 41. And that is the star, Zach Wagaman, his third sack. Is he a difference maker or what? That's the Big Sky Defensive Player of the Year. Wagaman's going to come right off tackle there. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He's got one-on-one -on -one with the tackle, and he just beats him around the corner. But one of the things that's great about Montana all year when you have a guy like in this game, Vernon Adams just hasn't had the time. He's been pressured and flushed out of the pocket. This time, Tyrone Holmes gets there first, and Wagaman cleans it up. And then on a running play, Wagaman just going to come from the backside almost stripped the ball out there and then as we just saw beats the tackle around the corner to sack Vernon Adams I mean this is a match coverage first down out the 32 Adams pressured again looking to throw it and he just gets rid of the football Adams will hand it off Forte off the right side carrying a tackler down to the 36 yard line the Play was made by Zach Peavy, the nose tackle. Third down coming up. Yeah, they're just going to hand this off to Forte coming across the formation. Just going to get a few extra yards. That's good. Red turf, though. Third and three for Adams and the Eagles. Throws to the sideline, and that's a first down grab. Hold to work with. Still 29 seconds. Second and 10 now for Adams in the pistol formation. It'll be Forte straight ahead. And a nice gain down to the 12. It'll 13th play of the drive, third and four. Adams has plenty of time. Are taking the shot. They go underneath the hill, makes the catch inside the five. He's got the first down, but it'll be held short. Cooper Cup go deep yet. Maybe we'll see a dose of that here in the second half. In the 25 yard line, they'll start with a run, and it's a big carry. Breaking it open is Quincy Forte across the 45 to the 46, 21 yard pickup for the senior from Fairfield, California. Nice off tackle run by Quincy Forte here. He's just gonna get to that line quick and then that one cut up the field makes one guy miss. Rumbles and tempo offense, they're continuing that here in the third quarter. This time it's a play fake for Adams. He rolls and throws it, a flag is thrown in the backfield. It's caught by Wimberly. As we take a look at this clipping call right in the middle of your screen there, trying to get Wagaman down that he doesn't add a fourth sack that, that to is, his total today. Well, a set. Underway third quarter, Eastern Washington, a couple touchdowns, a missed extra point in that first half. Adams, pressure coming from Wagaman. He rolls left, now throws back against the grain, and the catch is made. The right time, whether it's special teams or on defense, have helped out their dynamic offense. They go again to Wilson, and the Grizz shut that one down. Playing well on defense even though they're down 
three possessions. Third and seven. Four receivers, two to each side. Pressure coming, Gamboa on the blitz. Adams steps up, fires downfield, and it's knocked away at the last minute. Second and 10 at the 40. Adams looking to run, quarterback draw, and he has a first down and more. Vernon Adams slides down. From the 44. Straight ahead, Forte hit in the hole, and he moves it forward to the 40. It'll be a third and six. Seven touchdown passes and a loss at Washington earlier this year. Now he tries to get away from some pressure, then just runs it, and he's close to 1,000 passing yards. They'll run it on first down with Wilson, who's hit and wrapped up. Great pursuit to the football. That they get a score here. It might be all she wrote. They hang it or hand it off to Forte and a shot down the one. They just get the snap off. Adams scrambling. And they stop him at the seven-yard line. And it has played a really good game defensively all game. Really, the third quarter was the difference. Pressure coming. Adams trying to escape it. He runs away from the pressure, and he runs for a first down and more. Adams in the open field, and he slides down. For Montana, and they cannot afford to give up a touchdown here, or it's definitely over. Leaping a couple would.